Hello everybody, it's Vicky and in this painting I'm creating a painting. Hold on. <laughs> no, in this video I'm creating a painting. I... this is like the fifth time I'm recording this. I had wanted to draw and paint a creature drinking tea for quite a while and I couldn't really decide what creature I wanted but then I was kindly advised to make a badger and I completely agree with the decision um, and advice. I love badgers, European badgers, I found them very cute and, and lovely and round and really strong characters so um, a badger it was. The scene by itself I've kind of decided to settle on a morning, morning in a forest as you know a badger probably would would be sitting down and drinking tea um, if he wanted to and I must say the, the, the tea part was was the hardest bit, you can, you can see me struggling a little bit with, with the arm um, posture and kind of see like practicing on myself I, I keep holding things a little bit and trying to handle stuff a little bit to see how a badger could hold a cup of tea <laughs> but it's not really <laughs> none of it was really working um, in the end I had to give it um, kind of let him hold hold a cup with both hands um, I also gave him some friends um, I ended up um, adding a mouse and a hedgehog because I thought it would be nice even though they are solitary creatures I think it would be nice for him to have have some friends um, for morning tea so you can see me add those later and um, now London has been going through a heat wave um, so later on you also see some footage of rain which we've been keenly anticipating um, it was very short but I really enjoyed it so um, keep watching and enjoy As a medium of choice I've gone with gouache actually. Now I never used to like gouache um, just because I don't think I ever tried any gouache that was actually nice um, and because I'm such a big fan of watercolours and I, I always felt that gouache was a slightly trickier and more annoying version and it, it didn't seem to kind of <laughs> bring any benefits <laughs> to anything. Um, but I got this new set quite recently and I, I tried it again and I actually have been quite enjoying it. I really, you know, still work with it in a watercolour way as you can see. But I think it's just allowed me to um, add extra and kind of build more layers and, you know, build more opacity. So it's been kind of enjoyable. I um, You can see the whole process as I kind of start layering everything up um, and I'll leave you with some music um, for now.
After adding some details to the badger in some of the previous clips, I also started adding more details into the hedgehog and overall I think this is where kind of the dugash started coming coming in handy because I could work with slightly thicker paint and really work work the layers as I wanted to and make them more painterly or you know add more specific detail. I was using this tiny tiny brush which I kind of hate. <laughs> I prefer long thin brushes if anything it just makes it a bit easier to handle but you know it did the trick. Um, now the teacups kind of disappeared as well in the process of painting so I really wanted to make sure that I brought them back um, and also kind of decided on what tea they were going to be drinking. I am Czech um, originally and at home we drink a lot of rosehip tea and it's a very big kind of tradition I think in the country I, I assume most kind of central or East European countries drink rosehip tea um, so that was a, a very clear choice for me because it's also a tea that the animals could very easily make themselves from the rose hips that they find in the forest. This fern as well, oh I I don't uh, I don't really have much to say about the fern. I don't like it very much or didn't like it very much in the end. It's okay, it'll manage. Um but yeah, it wasn't the most fun to paint. Um, all the kind of extra foreground bits um, were added and I took some colouring pencils afterwards as well. If you'll see me kind of like try out different colours, etc. Um, and I started adding those to just add more depth, add more texture, um, especially to the animals, obviously with the fur. It just makes it a lot, a lot easier to work with um, something like a colouring pencil, have a little more control uh, over the thickness of it and it's quite a small painting, it's just A5 so it was it's definitely much easier. And the mouse too, the poor mouse, <laughs> he just, he's so tiny, he doesn't really, there's not much um, I could do about it. But I'll just let you watch, watch until the end now, it's almost, almost finishing line, enjoy the sounds. Mm-hmm. 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 